Okay, so we have all of the assembler part of this task set up. So let's go into our to-do list and let's check that one off. Uh, whoops, I did it again. There's a song about that. There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are picking up uh, pretty much right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, so we are going to set up our smart plating uh, production line. And uh, so let's just jump right in and get going with this. So if you look on the right-hand side, that is our to-do list. The first thing we're going to do is set up the assemblers we're going to need uh, to make this work. And um, so I'm going to line up the first assembler with the awesome sink here because uh, once we get our first 50 smart plating which we need for the space elevator the rest of it's just going to go right into the sink to get us coupons okay so let's grab um, the assembler here uh, looks like um, you know what why don't we do, 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 why don't we realign this whoops I didn't mean to do that grab the sink and I want it to that's the in yeah that's the input I want to put it right in the center of that tile there very good okay so that way we know the center of this tile is lined up perfectly with the input of that let's grab an assembler now and we want to turn it around so the out or the inputs are facing us, and let's let's pull it back maybe to there. Um, actually, no. I want to pull it back even further than that because I think I want to put a storage up here. Uh, so let's grab a storage. And uh, make sure that's right in the center of the tile here. And is that going to stick out? Nope, that's lined up exactly where we want it. Okay, good. Now let's grab the assembler again. Bump it all the way up there. Bring it back. So there should be good. And that'll just feed straight into there. Okay, we want to set this to smart plating. And oh, actually, you know what? I just thought of something. I'm going to actually do two of these. Right. We're going to do two of these. Okay, so that means then that we want to. Here, let's just put that there for, for the moment so we can copy from it. That's right. We're going to do two of these. Okay, so in that case, let's also put a lift on here so we can kind of move stuff up off the ground. Okay, let's grab this again. Make sure the output's lined up with that. Okay, now let's bring it back. I need to make room for a merger, so let's bring it back at least that far. Um, is it going to let me scooch a merger in there? It is not. Okay, yeah, that's too, that's too close then. What we'll do is we'll. I think we had it back to that line. Let's bring it back to about halfway um, on this foundation here. That should give us enough room. Okay. 
Now, let's put a merger here. Like so. And then we're going to do another one of these. Oh, I need some rotors. Let's go get some rotors. We'll be making rotors as a part of this process. And at some point, I'll probably stop the smart plate production altogether, but we're still going to need rotors and reinforced plates. So what we build uh, today, we can just, you know, switch over to permanent rotor and reinforced plate production later. Um, let's see, we're going to need, yeah, let's make, let's, let's just make 20 of these for now. And if we need to make more, we can make more. Not a big deal. Okay, so let's um, bring you back to maybe about there. That looks good. We'll set you also to smart plating. Grab a lift here. Um, hold on. I think that's going to go in there straight. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Then we're going to do this a little bit differently. Let's have you come out here and you come out here. I'm going to do that. And then let's put the merger right about in the middle there. Hopefully that gives us enough room to make the... There. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's almost as if I planned it that way. That planet up in the sky is just awesome, man. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that takes care of that. Both of these will now produce uh, smart plating when we get it all set up. And feed into here. I'm... I'm going to let this fill up until we get 50 of them. We'll pull those 50 out for the space elevator, and then we'll run a conveyor down to the, um, the awesome sink and start feeding them in from there. Very good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, let's, let's deal with... Let, let's take a look at this for a second. So we're going to need... Um, two reinforced plates and two rotors per minute um, for each one of those. So that means we want to make four of those items per minute. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to line up this assembler assemblers are kind of weird with the control key because you know they they have the the different inputs so I've never really relied too much on the control key to line these guys up that might be a little close for what I want to do Let's put a, okay, we're going to put, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a lift there and a lift here. We're also going to put a lift here, but this one we're going to go up one, two, and this one we're going to go up one, two. Yeah, we're definitely, we're a little too close. Okay, that's fine. And what we'll do is let's pick this up and, um... Let's move it back to the halfway point on, whoops, there, and likewise we'll do the same thing here. And now that I th think about this a little bit more, 
Um... What I actually want to do is I want to, yeah, I want to do this a little bit different. I want to line up the output on that first, on this guy here. So yeah, okay. And then this one, we're gonna line it up on that guy there. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Oh, we're out of running out of plates. Did I, did I do that right? No, I didn't. That's got to come over. Yeah, that's got to come over. Still don't think I still didn't get it right. We gotta go over one more. I think we can actually trust that green line there. No? Too far over the other way. Is uh yeah, uh, can we trust that green line? No, we can't. That's why I say it's with these damn dissemblers, it's a real pain in the ass. Let's line ourselves up right here. So I, I think that green line is correct now. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Let's go get some more um, normal plates. Those we will pull out of here. Don't think we need anything else at the moment. Okay, so um, you're going to make stitched iron plates and you're going to make rotors now notice that this outputs four rotors per minute and this outputs 5.625 reinforced iron plates per minute so what we're going to do is we're going to underclock this so it also only does four per minute to match this because each one of these takes in um no, hold on. Go back to here. Each one of these takes in two per minute on both the rotors and the plates. Okay. And then that way, those are nice and even Steven. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to here. And we're going to put a splitter on the end of you. Come out of here. We want to line up to this green line. Go back to, go up, go into there. Okay, that looks that looks right. Yep. Okay. And then for this other one, I'm gonna go up one, two. Put a splitter on this one. And then we want to 
line up with to this green line. Go back to go up to there and then into here. And that should be good. Okay, so this is going to output four rotors. It's going to split split it here and send two rotors into here and uh, two rotors into here. And I'm just double checking this, right? Um, we down clocked this so that it'll do four per minute. It's going to send four out of there, split it, two will go into here uh, of the plates, and two will go on this upper belt into here for the plates. There we go. Okay, so we have all of the assembler part of this task set up. So let's go into our to-do list, and let's... Check that one off. Uh, whoops. I did it again. There's a song about that. There we go. Assemblers are set up. All right. We don't need that there anymore. Now we need to set up constructors. All right. So let's go ahead and work on the rotor first. So we need... Um, 20, it takes in 20 iron rods per minute and 20, um, 100 screws per minute. So let's do the iron rods first. And I think what we'll do is we'll start our... Um, I think we'll start here. Let's take a look and see what's below this. Okay, no, this isn't a good place to start because of how we're going to feed the ore up. So we're going to need to move over to here, I think. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to put um, a grommet right here, just kind of to mark that spot. Um, actually, you know what? Why don't we why don't we just set our refiner down first too? Um, so let's go or a smelter, I mean. Let's grab the smelter and back it up till it turns yellow. And then back this way one. Here and let's redo this. Okay, I'll mess with that later actually. Okay, so that's going to be our smelter, and then we're going to grab our first constructor and let's actually do our lift to set up first I'm going to set down um, here, let's just put that down there for a second so I can look at something um, you're doing rods so you're going to need 15 iron per minute. You're going to output 30 per minute. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to split this then. So let's take a splitter and yeah, we'll put it here.
turn this around. Go back. Pull this forward once. And reset this. Okay, so you produce 15 rods per minute. And you need 20 rods per minute. So what we're going to do... Uh, whoop. Yes, we're going to overclock this. But if we do that, that means... We might... I might actually end up underclocking that to match it then. Which means we don't necessarily need that splitter there at all. But I think I'll leave it there anyways. For potential future expansion. Alright, let's grab all of our slugs. I've got four. And we're going to turn all of these into power shards. Um, oh, you can use... Wait, what? Hold on. What does this say I can make two power shards? I don't have any yellow slugs. Oh, it doesn't. I can't afford. Except for it has a two there, so I don't know. I don't know what the hell that means. I was corn fuzzled there. Okay, so what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to put power shard in there and we're going to overclock it to 20 per minute. Right. Okay. Uh, so that means it needs 20 iron ingots per minute. And I think I'm going to underclock this to match that. Okay. So that way those two are even Steven. And then what we're going to do is put a lift on here. And a lift on here. And we're going to run a line. to here. Let's go back to go up. And there we go. That looks good. I think what we'll do here is Put another support here just because it seems like it would be a good idea to have a support here. You're right on that seam. All right, so that takes care of the 20 rod per minute input that that assembler requires. Now let's go ahead and figure out our next setup. Let's see what's underneath here. Okay, we got room down there, so we'll actually hold on. Yeah, we can't go there. But we should be fine here. Put a grommet there. Got a smelter. And set you to iron. Okay. So you're currently doing 30 per minute. Okay, so... 
Yeah, next we're gonna do the screws. So you want you want 100 screws per minute. So the way we're gonna do this one is um, you need 10 rods per minute. But I think we're gonna overclock these as well. So I think it's gonna need 12 and a half rods per minute. Right, okay, so then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put you there, you there. We're gonna do the same thing that we did before with this uh, the splitter here. You know what, I might need to, yeah, do a little belt into these two. Okay, flip that around, go back, come forward one. Reset this. All right, we need to set you to do rods, but we're gonna down clock you to 12 and a half per minute. Uh, wait, right? Hold on, let me look at that again. Right, because if we put this in here and we make this 50 per minute, yeah, it needs 12 and a half per minute. Okay, just wanted to double check that. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy you and put you... Right there, I think. Yeah, that's the spacing I want to use. And we'll also make you do rods down clocked to 12.5 per minute. All right, so your OR input, or your, I'm sorry, your ingot input is 12 and a half, and your sh is 12 and a half, because those are a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means you need to be down clocked to 25. There we go. Okay, that fixes that. All right, now we need, um, let's put uh, that there for a minute so I can look at the recipe again. We need 100 per minute, screws per minute. So we need two of these. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to set up two of these setups to get this to work. Okay. So let's do this. Let's grab a lift here. And a lift here. Get a splitter. No, a merger. Yeah, we want a merger for this. And that's probably the right spot. We want the output to go this way. That 
That's good. This constructor here. It's going to be kind of tight. So I'm doing this a little bit differently than I did it the first time. Let's try, uh, let's try something. Let's put you here. No, wait a minute. I put the output on this side, didn't I? Okay. Um, what if we do that? gets us really close over here, but we might be able to make this work. If I put this here and then turn it this way, yeah, I think we can get this to work. It does get very tight in here, though. Okay, so you are going to be doing screws, but you're going to be overclocked to 50 per minute. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing this right. I was thinking we needed two of these per one of these, but we only need one per one. Okay, well that's good though, actually. Yeah, because it, it only needs 12 and a half in to make 50 per minute. And each one of these is doing 12 and a half. I was, I was just thinking I needed two of those. Okay, so that changes things for the better. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else we're gonna we're gonna have to do. Okay, we don't need. Here, let's take this back down. We don't need any of this stuff. So I was thinking I had to merge those, and we don't need to merge them. So what we're going to do then in that case is put one of those there, one of those there, turn this around, go, I am, uh, did I, no, I didn't line that up right. really tight. Um, I think we can hold that out. To there. Oh, shoot. Gotta get this in place first. Okay. This way. And go there. All right. 
now, um, we'll do the same thing here. So, this is making screws. I'll put a power shard in. Overclock it to 50 per minute. And likewise, same thing here. Screws, power shard. Overclock 50 per minute. So, it takes 12 and a half in per minute of rods. This is outputting 12 and a half. And this one is outputting 12 and a half. And this one is taking in 12 and a half. Okay, so let's grab a lift. Um. Yeah, I, I'm. I must have. I must have done something different than the before because. I had more room. Oh, yeah, I think I do know what I did different. I had these when in my practice run. I had these further out this way. And I wanted to move them in so this wasn't sticking past there. So I think that's what's kind of messing me up a little bit. Uh, so what we might end up doing then in this case is... Maybe we won't use the the lifts for this one. Okay, so let's go this way. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm just going to come to here for the moment. Okay, let's do a merger. With the output going this way. not to go on there correctly. Let's try it again. Alright, I want to redo this belt. That way we know for sure it's hooked up. Um, I think I'm going to take this away. Can we put it... Uh, logistics conveyor pole. That's okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze through there. Only way to really fix that, I think, which I'm not going to do because it would be a hell of a lot of redoing stuff, is um, if we move the whole assembler bit over some so move that over some but see if we move that over then it's getting in I, I don't like anything to be in the border tile um, as much as possible anyway so yeah we're just gonna make this work it's gonna be a little little cozy going through there but it is what it is 
You know, the other way I could actually make that work, now that I think about it, is we could just go up higher. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place. Let's do it that way instead. Just because, I, again, I, don't, I, I like to be able to move through here, you know, and not have a bunch of shit in the way. Okay, yeah, so verticality, man. we got to think verticality. So let's bring this up three. And... That'll probably be okay. And we'll put a splitter on here. Bring this up three. Put a merger on here. Come on. There you go. Okay. With the output going that way. And then we should be able to just run that belt right into there. I mean, it's even with this, it's still tight through there, but it's not completely blocked off like it was before. Let's put a lift here and go up one, two. I think that was as high as we went as two. That looks correct from here. Okay, let's grab this belt. Um, I'm gonna be right here, okay. Back two, go up to there and into there. It's cozy. <laughs> it's cozy, but uh, I think it'll work. Here, let's just go into fly mode for a second. I have fly mode enabled mostly for screenshots, and I also use it when I'm testing stuff. Um, so, yeah, that looks good. That is, I think, what the doctor ordered. So let's double check this one. So you are taking in 20 rods per minute and 100 screws per minute to make four rotors. You are feeding 50 screws per minute and you are feeding 50 screws per minute. On this upper conveyor line into this input. And you are feeding 20 rods per minute on this lower conveyor line going into this input. I think we got that. All right. Whew, a lot of work, man. A lot of work. Let's, uh, let's get the next one going now. So this is going to need... Copper wire. Uh, so 37.5. See, the numbers are weird on this because this is this custom recipe. Well, it's not just that, though. I also downclocked it, too, so that's making the numbers even weirder. But that's okay. We can make, we can make it work. Okay, so for the moment, I'm just going to put this here just so we can, um, actually, that's too far. No. There we go. Actually, I guess I don't really need to do this, but whatever. 
was kind of putting that there as a guide. We uh, all that really means is we just want to use this tile here, but let's double check. That's not going to be a pro. That is going to be a problem because we got something down there. All right. So that being the case. We're going to have to move over this direction. Which isn't a big deal. We can still do that. We can still make it work. For sure. Alright, so this is going to be our next smelter. Whoops. So once again, let's put our grommet here. Grab this smelter here. Turn it around. Put it there and set it to iron. At least for the moment. Well, no, it'll be it'll stay on iron, but we might need we're, we're gonna need to change the. I did check below here, right? We're clear. Yeah, we are. Okay. So we need to uh, do a constructor. Nothing's going to need to merge out of here or anything like that. So we'll just do this and this. Grab this constructor here, turn it around, go back, pull it out one, reset this. And you need to do plates. All right, so normally you output 20 plates per minute. But what we actually need is 13 per minute because because we've underclocked this. Normally it would need 18.75, but since we underclocked it, it needs 13.333 to be precise. All right, so 13.333. Doesn't do the third three? Guess not. Okay. Well, yeah, 13.333. And it's only going to need to take in 19.9999 per minute. Which means we want to underclock this to 19. 99 per minute. Okay. So if uh, we uh, basically 20 per minute is, is what that's really going to boil down to. It's just kind of weird numbers is all. But that's what it says. 13.33 per minute to do to produce four. So that's what we're working with. Okay. Um, and that's, that's all we need to do with that one. So let's, let's pick this business back up. Okay. And let's get this off the ground. You know, um, we could, could we run this under the, I mean, we definitely can run it under the floor. Uh, it's still not going to be a straight shot though. Yeah, now nah, let's not, let's just do this the usual way. this way that 
that's farther out than we need to go. Why don't we bring it into there? So we're trying to get to that. Where's our line at? Oh, it's it's yeah, it's right here. Okay. All right, so go back to No, that was lining up on something else. I think what we're going to want to do here is maybe here. Yeah, maybe that was right. All right, let's come back. One, two. I don't know, for some reason that didn't look right to me, but... Yep. There we go. Okay, so that gets that input. Uh, we could even... Could even bring that in a little more. But let's look at something here. We have to set one more setup up here, and we can. Yeah, we got uh, we got the room. I still think I want to bring this in a little bit though. So let's bring it in by two. The final piece of the puzzle here is the copper wire. And uh, I think we'll, let's just look at this again for a second. Yep, that's good. Nothing's blocked down there. Let's grab our grommet and put it in place first. And we'll grab our smelter, go back to there want this to make copper ingots <clears throat> and then we're not splitting this so we'll just do the usual lift lift instructor and we want to set this to wire and let's take a look, see again what you want. So you want 26.667 wire per minute. All right, so um, 26.667. And you're only gonna need 13.335 ingots. Thirteen point three three five, thirteen point three three five in to output twenty six six seven, twenty six 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 seven. I thought I put that in there.
There we go. 26, 6, 6, 7. That doesn't want to... Oh, I, I guess it's doing it up here. Okay. Okay. Put a lift in here. If I was potentially planning on doing something in this floor space later, I would <clears throat> I'd run these lines underneath along the ceiling. But I'm not really planning on doing anything with it. And then if we ever do, you know, we can always change it up later. So, all right. So we're right on that line there. Back to. I think we're good to go. Um, well, at least for setting up the constructors and the refiners. Now what we need to do is get power going. So for that, we are going to... Uh, let's put a power line on that seam. a line down here right to here and then we'll run another one um how about Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Let's put this one right here. Okay, no clipping, so I think we're good. Do this one. That's probably going to clip. Uh, can we get away with this? Yeah. Okay, that'll work. That will not work. Shit. Oh, man. All right. Um, I think what we do about this situation is... Let's pull this back. Can we connect you to the U without clipping anything? Yeah, see, that's that works. And then we'll run one across to this side. And that's not clipping. It's close, but it's it's okay. Right? Yeah, just here. Let's just get in fly mode. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a good six inches or more of clearance on that deal. Okay, good. So that takes care of power for the assemblers. Now we've got these two constructors here. Then 
Need power. So I think what I'll do for those is maybe we'll run. Yeah, let's run a line down through here. Ooh, you know what though? We might have a problem. Yeah, we're gonna probably have a an issue with this conveyor belt. Okay, well let's let's come through here and just see what happens. Okay, so that clears that. We can power that from there. If we bring this all the way through to this side, that does clear that, just barely. But yeah, and it's clearing it. Okay. Should probably put a pole here too. So we can go like that and like that. All right, and you're hitting this, this guy. Okay, that's fine. got those two. You got him and I guess that's all you got. So if we come to here. Can we get over, over there without clipping? Yeah, we can. Okay. So that powers, I believe, all the const. Oh, what the? What happened here? <laughs> I accidentally removed a constructor. Oh, shit. Uh, this probably would have been one of our rod constructors. I, yeah, I did not mean to do that. Okay. All right, let's do a power line for our smelters. Okay, that should get power to everything. The last thing we need to do is get the ore up here. Let's go ahead and uh, let me go, uh, let's go down and take a look at things here. Okay, so we got iron, copper, a 
All of our grommets are lined up. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be interesting to figure out. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I think I got this figured out, and we got to fix a couple of minor things as well. Um, and I also need to update my to-do list. So the constructors have been set up, the refiners are set up, power has been run, and now we're working just on the uh, the conveyors. <clears throat> but I noticed that um, I'm off on this belt by one little thingamadoodle, so let's bring this up to there. Take that off, take that off, take that off. And then this can go into here, and this can go into here. There, that looks better. And I also want to... This power pole here needs to be moved over. So let's put that there. Get rid of this one. There. That lines all those guys up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Doesn't look like anything's clipping as far as I can tell. So I think we're good on all of that stuff. Alrighty, so um here's what we're gonna do. Let's do the uh, let's do the copper first. Um, so we're gonna take that out and we're going to take that out and we're gonna put another grommet in the floor right there. And I'm gonna go down below here and um, I think I'm gonna take this out for the moment too. Okay, so let's grab a lift Connect it in there, bring it down here, through that grommet, and uh, I think I want to go right there, I think. If we connect a ceiling, here, I'm going to have to jump down here. there and then go back to this toolbar that is correct I think yeah that looks good now let's um Grab our belt and start heading this way. We can go right to there. And I think that's straight. Pretty sure we're straight there. Okay. to here and go to there yeah that looks good okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Bring this to that's where it's got to go into but I think we're gonna bring it to right about the middle of there and 
And then I want to take these hangers and move them, I think, to here. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go up um, like that because if I drop this down two spaces, then we're gonna you know run into this belt here essentially. Uh, we could get away with it the rest of the way down, but this is the belt that uh, is basically preventing us from doing that. So uh, there's just no other way around it at this point unless I. You know, unless I move that iron belt, which I don't really want to. So I, I try not to do too much of this kind of stuff, but sometimes you just have to, you know. Um, there might be a more eloquent solution, but I don't know what it is. So we're going we're gonna to run with that. And I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It's still a proper 90 degree angle. It's just that it's going up. Okay, I'm going to... Take that belt down, and actually, we don't need um, you or you anymore, either. And we'll connect you into there. So, yeah, you can see that it, it is it is a proper 90 degree. It's just also going up a bit, and that's okay. It's not a big deal, and that should take care of our copper. We'll, uh, you know, we'll double check it when we get back. Okay. Now, the iron. Um, iron is a little more interesting. Uh, let me think about this for a second. I think what we're going to do... We don't actually need that. We do want... Um, this and that though and we'll grab a mark 2 belt and bring the iron to there and I think okay I gotta run back down here for a minute actually no I gotta go back up to uh, to the top Cause this one was a little trickier to figure out. I did eventually figure it out, but it was, yeah, it was just a little trickier. All right, so we're uh, and we're what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to um, do all of our merging, splitting, all that kind of thing up on the ceiling here because I I can't do it down here because of these other belts that are in the way. All right, so. I think I think I brought the iron in underneath here. So it doesn't it doesn't quite line up with that grommet, but that's okay. So let's go through here. And these are going to have to come out too, by the way. I can tell you that right now. And what we can do instead is do this and this. There, that fixes that. Okay, let's drop another hanger here. Another hanger here. And run this Mark IV line to there and to there. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now here's where things get a little bit trickier. Okay, so we're going to pick that up. Let's pick this up, too, and get it out of the way for the moment. And we want to take a Mark II lift and put that in there and then bring it down through the grommet down to here. 
and turn it this way. The question though is, don't remember. Okay, give me a second. I gotta go back and, and check my other save. All right, I'm back. Um, the way that I actually got that to work was with one of these grommets. Um, so here, let's grab this. I'm just gonna put that there momentarily. It's gonna be right. That's where it needs to go. No, it's got to go forward more. I think it needs to go there. Like that. Okay. So, now, what I did... Still isn't right. Something is something's off here. This for some reason this lift is back too damn far. And I think it is because I started it with the grommet, maybe? Let's do this. Oh, you know what? There's something else that I kind of messed up here too now that I'm looking at this. Uh, all right. So, let's see here. I think I actually had run this belt down another rack over. That's one thing that I did different. Let's, okay, yeah, let's try something here. Let's put this here. Can we hook another one to it? We can't. Oh, shoot. Okay. And what I'm going to do is do it this way. Kind of use those as a guide. Put this back in, and then put this there. Okay, so that's the spot. Now, let's pick that up. Now, what I did was I hooked into this... It's going the wrong way. So let's start it up. Mm. Yeah, let's start it there. And then, right, okay. That's right, that's what I did. Okay, and then if we do this... So th this part here is a little bit different than what I did before. But we might be able to get it to work. It's going to be a really tight corner, though. Yeah, see, that pushes that out. But the way we can f fix that... Well, we have we could do one of two things. We could either dog leg this one over a little bit you know so that it, we get the right 90 or 
I could redo it the way I did it before, where basically, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do that instead. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that there, that there, and that there. Let's take this out and this out. And get a Mark II belt, and that goes there. And we don't need this or this. Carefully take those out. And we should be able to just come off of these. Put those there. Just so we can get the belt close and I can I engage how far down this needs to go. Okay, so let's get that out. And then grab the Mark II. Come down to there. And that is... That's it. So the way I, so the way that I got this to work was that um, the 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 way I got it to work was from the grommet because without the grommet, you know, when I tried to hook this in, as you guys saw earlier, it's, it it sticks it out too far, and then it came down through this belt here. Um. And it, it's a little bit weird because, you know, it's it's changing direction, but, I mean, it works. It does work. All right. So, let's put the ceiling piece back in place here. And um, I think we're ready to fire this thing up and see if it's all working. I'm going to have to go out and gather some more... Um, biomass because I'm down to my last batch of it. So let's grab all of this and get these guys filled back up. Okay, so our maximum is 212.8 megawatts. We have 270. Um, so we're still okay for the moment, but if we had too many more things, then we're going to have to put some more biomass burners down. And, oh, by the way, uh, I don't think we, yeah, <laughs> look at all those reinforced plates. Uh, we don't need this setup anymore and that'll save us some power. So let's take this down now. Oh. Uh, we should probably put the floor back in place. Oh, actually, you know what? We're not done yet. That's right. We got to hook up these guys, too. Uh, but this this will actually should be pretty easy to do. So let's take that out. This out and this out. And we'll jump back down here. And we want to hook in this to here and bring it down to there. Let's see, and I think... Is that the right... Yeah, I think it is. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing here. Just one click that way. OK, 
Okay, and then we put splitters on here. Uh, with, yep, with that out input on that side, and just mark one belt into there, and mark one into there. Okay, that looks straight. It looks level. And I think I think we did it. I think we got it. Okay. Let's put a uh, lookout tower down and just kind of check everything. don't see any um, red lights so that means everything is powered and the ones that are currently yellow uh, just haven't had their buffers completely filled up yet everything is green over on this side the the lights that are kind of white colored those are the overclocked machines And uh, it looks like it's running. Oh, by the way, um, there is a uh, there is a known issue with AMD graphics cards, uh, uh, particularly the um, seventy nine hundred XTX, which is what I have, um, with this game, and that <clears throat> that's why I, I get that little glitchy stuff, which really sucks. Um, and I do, you know, I do have the latest drivers from AMD too, and. It still hasn't been fixed, so yeah, there you go. It's a bummer. Last time I played this game in Update 5, I had an NVIDIA card, so I never had that issue. But anyway, yeah, it looks like everything is working now. We're just, you know, kind of waiting on um, all the buffers to fill up and everything to kind of get caught up, and then it should... See, that light just turned green there, on the, and that one turned green too. Okay, good. So that means it's got all of its stuff... That it's been waiting for and um, we're looking good we are looking good that was a lot of work man goodness gracious uh, I spent several hours on this you know doing this build uh, both with the test build and then doing it with you guys here on camera but uh, it, it's looking pretty good so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go through and double check everything make sure all my configuration is correct um, we might be able to it's probably a little yeah it's a little too soon to check this but well no okay yeah it's still there's still a little bit of fluctuation going on but eventually this should get caught up and uh, and just be even, you know, uh, with the with the blue line. Consumption's 172. I mean, that that that's what I would expect it to do, anyways. And, and it's getting closer. You know, you can see that it's the trend is that it's getting closer. Um, yeah. So I'll keep an eye on this, <coughs> and if uh, if this doesn't flatline. That sounds terrible, huh? Like it's going to die. Uh, fairly soon, then that means I probably don't have something set correctly, and I'll have to go back and, and look at it. Um, but the cool thing is that it is working, and uh, we should probably already have... Look at that. We have two smart plating. <laughs> All right. We're well on our way. Okay, guys, well, that is going to be it for this episode. I've got to go to bed, man. I am super tired. <laughs> I love this game so much, though. Had a lot of a uh, lot of fun uh, with the, these last uh, two episodes, and we made good progress. Um, I'm not I'm not entirely sure yet um, what more we'll do with, with this factory. Um, we might... You know, I might add another floor and do some more stuff, too, if we have to. 
uh, because I'm not really planning on, you know, moving down along the coast until we get coal power. And I don't remember if we get that at tier 3 or tier 4, to be honest with you. Um, I can look it up, of course. But anyway, um, we'll we'll get the 50 smart plating. We'll put that in the space elevator and open up tier 3, which opens up steel. And I think, you know, we need coal to make steel. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure coal power will open up. Uh, or at least it'll be one of the milestones in tier 3. And we'll work towards that and then probably move operation our operations uh, down the coast. Um, and if I don't build any more, you know, production lines in, in this building, we'll finish out the building itself, though. Um, you know, put a roof on it and make it look nice. And um, go from there. Not, I might, I'll probably leave this into the building open, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Never know. You never know what might happen. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.